Hello. It's April 1st. On my second cup of coffee. And I'm deathly afraid of starting up a vlog. It's hilarious. Um, I've spent the last week really getting into video editing and production and organizing my home office and studio. But um, my intent was to kind of start vlogging. But uh, yeah, I don't know if it's imposter syndrome or writer's block or what, but I haven't wanted to do it. So I gotta just start doing it and let's use this as my first entry into my vlog. I'm shooting this on my phone with no mic, eating some oats that Alexander made. Um, I've been pretty buried in work, which being isolated is kind of normal for me. I mean, besides not having events and races to do, I'm stuck in my home office here in Portland, Oregon. The weather is shit. It's really shitty out. Um, and yeah, I've always been a self-motivated person. This is really putting it to the test because I am home and I can't really interact with anybody else, any of my friends or my staff or my riders. I can interact with sponsors via the internet. That's pretty standard for me. Um, things haven't completely ground to a halt and yeah so i think i'll throw this up on instagram tv as vlog number one 2020 april 1st we're like two weeks into self-isolation i wouldn't call it quarantine social isolation i've been dumping stuff up on my youtube channel uh, my personal youtube channel and the sports group youtube channel and i've been using my macbook pro to learn video editing i got new uh, what the hell is it? Gigabit internet at home. Canceled the old Xfinity. And I've got the new CenturyLink. Got some GoPros. GoPro accepted me as a sponsorship through... They have a sponsorship marketing channel that I used. And it's cool... There's a few of these things on the web that marketers and brand managers and sponsors and stuff can use. Wooly is one, W-O-O-L-Y, and Hook It is another. I'm sure there are others. Um, those are the two that I've worked with a little bit. And the functionality is kind of cool and interesting. And you can like apply for sponsorships and I think it's good for brands to track ambassadors. Ultimately, that's what it's going to be good for. But I think someone in my position where I kind of need access to platforms like that to manage my athletes and my assets. I don't know. It's fun. It's stuff to work on while I'm sitting here at my desk. Um, I wonder if I can link into this. I'm gonna, you know what I'm gonna do? I might actually throw this video in DaVinci Resolve and see if like how it works to edit a vertical video like this instead of just ripping and dropping it into my Instagram TV, which is the process I wanna get better at. Uh, it's hard, video editing's fucking hard. It's really time consuming. And uh, yeah, I just need to keep practicing. It's like daunting when I go to edit a video and I drop it in DaVinci and I just kind of freeze and I'm staring at the screen and I'm like, what the fuck is the next step? Like, what's my end goal? What's my end result? But it's been fun. It's a really fun process and something that when we are in race season and we are on the road and traveling and events are happening and you're just going to races and going to events and going to races and going to events, I don't make the time to do any of this stuff 
So this has been really fun to dive into it, but it's fucking hard and it's frustrating because I'm not good at it. Um, last thing before I go. Yesterday, March 31st was Transgender Day of Visibility. I am a transgender person and I'm out about it. I kind of was having an off day yesterday and I didn't really post anything to social media. I think I'll do it today. It's April Fool's. I don't give a fuck about April Fool's Day. Um, it's pedantic. It's pedestrian. Anyways, so look for something hot from me and I don't know. It'll probably take me two days to edit this video. So if I put, rip this and post it up on April 3rd, you'll know what the deal is. And uh, yeah, I hate shaving. That's fucking annoying. So maybe that's what I'll talk about on my post for Transgender Day of Visibility. Because being a trans woman with a fucking beard is annoying as shit. And yeah, these are my daily issues. Thanks for taking five minutes of time out of your very busy and hectic schedules. I don't know. I'm going to get better at this, I promise.